In first tutorial on portfolio theory, we learned how investors make use of expected return, volatility, and covariance of risky assets to create an efficient frontier. Any point on the efficient frontier represents an optimal portfolio of risky assets that has higher return for a given level of risk than any other portfolio inside the feasible set. Question is, if we have a risk-free asset how do investors allocate wealth between risky and riskless assets? Consider the following situation. We have a risky portfolio with return R1 and a risk-free asset with return RF. So if RP represents the return on a portfolio with position in both risky and risk-free assets, then RP equals alpha F where alpha F is the proportion of risk-free asset in the portfolio times the risk-free rate plus 1 minus alpha F times the return on the risky portfolio. We should note that RF, the risk-free rate, is assumed to be constant. So the expected return on this portfolio equals alpha F times RF plus 1 minus alpha F times the expected return on the risky portfolio. Let this be equation one. Since we know that RF is constant, its volatility is gonna be zero, and hence its covariance with the risky asset is also gonna be zero, and therefore the variance of this portfolio equals one minus alpha F square times the variance of the risky asset. Let this be equation two. Solving for alpha f in equation 1 and substituting it in 2, we get the expected return on this portfolio to equal the risk-free rate plus the expected return on the risky portfolio minus the risk-free rate divided by the volatility of the risky portfolio times the volatility of the portfolio itself. This equation represents what's called the capital market line. And the slope of capital market line is what's called the sharp ratio. So sharp ratio essentially measures the excess return on a portfolio over and above the risk-free rate divided by the volatility. So for each unit of risk you're taking, what is the excess return that you're earning on this particular portfolio? That's measured by the Sharpe ratio. The capital market line is represented in this expected return and volatility space and goes from RF to point K, where point K corresponds to the expected return and the volatility of the risky portfolio. And we know that the slope of capital market line is just the Sharpe ratio which is expected return on the risky portfolio above the risk-free rate divided by the volatility of the risky assets. Now suppose you want to extend from K to point P prime. How do we go from point K to point P prime? Suppose that you short the risk-free security. Alpha F equals negative 10%. So say currently you have $100 and you borrow $10 at the risk-free rate to invest in risky security. Question is, what is the expected return of this new portfolio, P prime? And this is just equal to negative 0.1 RF because you went short the risk-free security, you borrowed at the risk-free rate, plus 1.1 times the expected return on the risky portfolio. Similarly, the volatility point P prime is just going to be equal to 1.1 times the volatility of the risky portfolio. Question is, what is the slope of the line that represents or extends from K to P prime? That's easy to check. Let's calculate the slope itself. The expected return on P prime minus the expected return on the risky portfolio divided by the volatility P prime minus 
the volatility of the risky portfolio just equals the excess return on the risky portfolio over and above the risk-free rate divided by the volatility of the risky portfolio. This is equal to the Sharpe ratio of the line that extended from RF to K. So what we've shown is that the slope of line between P prime and K is the same as the slope of the line between K and RF. Therefore, this algebraic analysis proves that it's a straight line generated when borrowing at the risk-free rate and investing in the risky portfolio. Both risk and return are going up in the portfolio. Bringing this analysis of capital market line together with the efficient frontier analysis that we worked on in tutorial one, we can see that the capital market line, which has an intercept of RF, could go through the mean variance boundary and touch at point P, or it could go from RF and just be tangent to the efficient frontier at point M. Capital market line could have varying slopes. However, note that the point at which it is tangent to the efficient frontier, that's where the sharp ratio is the highest. So M is the highest point of tangency between the risk fee asset and the efficient frontier. This highest point of tangency where sharp ratio is highest is also called the market portfolio. So what we've seen is that the introduction of risk-free asset allows us to solve for the market portfolio where the sharp ratio is going to be the highest. How much investors invest in risky assets versus the risk-free asset depends on investment preferences as well as risk preferences. If there are any questions or comments, please feel free to post. Thank you.